What do we get, guys? Chickens! Look, chicks. So we had chickens at our house in Florida and it has been our goal since we got rid of the chickens really um, to have chickens again. And due to recent events, it's kind of, it's actually pushed us into getting chickens sooner than we had anticipated. Um, so I'm gonna show you today our chickens and um, what we're using in order to keep baby chicks until they're able to go out into their coop. So, um, Levi is over here filling up the food All container. The food store um, had in no. stock at the time. So this is just a chick start and grow feed. I would have chose to go organic, but they didn't have that and we're pretty limited on um, what feed stores carry. So, um, when this bag gets low, I'm actually going to request that our local feed store order us some organic chick start feed. Because the whole point in doing this is to know that we're giving our chicks and chickens good quality so that they'll give us good quality in return. So Levi is filling up this feeder that we got at the feed store. Go ahead, Levi. And it's as simple as that. And then that will go in the little tub that they're staying in in the laundry room. All right, we've got a nice even layer of shavings. Uh, your local feed store will be happy to help you if you're not sure what to get. Um, and they'll help you with getting what they carry in stock. Um, and that's all we went with. So I've got a layer of newspaper underneath it just to kind of help when I go to change this. And then I've got just a nice fluffy layer of pine shavings to go on top. Kids are putting them back in so nice and gentle. So we have 21 chicks. We have, let's see here, six bar rocks and 15, oh, got it. <laughs> Where are you? 15 <laughs> Buff Orphingtons. And then so Levi got him some water. Luke's working on getting the shavings out. And as you saw, I got them feed. And we got them feed. Look how happy they are. So these chicks are two weeks old. Um, usually when you get them at a feed store, they're only a day or two old. The store was um, wanting to clearance out because they were getting these chicks. Ah, ah. chicks. So they cut us a nice deal. Okay. And we bought up the 21 chickens they had left. No, no, Gracie, no, no, don't, don't shove that in there. Um, we're actually gonna get a few more. My goal was to have 25, so that way if we had anything lost, we would end up with 20. That would give us enough eggs for our family. Is a heat lamp. You don't want them to get too cold, but these we've had no problems with. They stayed nice and warm. They cuddled together, and they're a little bigger. So being that they're two weeks old, they're they're a little more hardier than they would be if they were a day or two old. So we are super excited to have these on our homestead, on our farm. They're our first farm animals here, and our dogs and bunnies. Yes, we have dogs and bunnies. But as far as animals that's going to give us food, these are the first ones. Okay, as you can see, chickens and kids, it can get a little chaotic. I kind of wanted to recap everything that I explained in this video. We got 21 chickens. We live on 36 acres, so obviously we have the land to support that. We're starting with a basic pellet feed. I am planning on switching to a more natural organic feed after this bag. I went with what the feed store had in stock. We're pretty limited on what we have. But I know that the feed store down the street from us will special order anything that I want. So I'm going to research what I want and have them order it. We use just a basic plastic tub, lined it with newspaper, put some cedar shave over it, gave them food and water. Again, your feed store will show you exactly what kind of food and watering system you need for your baby chicks. 
you can't get a bowl of water and stick it in there and expect it to be okay. They jump in it, they splash their chips into it, they get food in it, they go to the bathroom in it. So you do definitely want an actual chicken waterer and an actual chicken feeder. Our chicks were two weeks old when I got them. So I don't have to do the whole heat lamp setup. They're staying in our laundry room, which stays pretty warm and they all snuggled together. I actually ended up checking on them last night and they were so warm, so snuggled all together that I don't feel like this is gonna be a problem not having one. However, if you were putting them outside in a coop, if they were a day or two old, I would strongly recommend getting them a heat light. They need to be warm. That's pretty much it. Um, getting started is not hard. You need to make sure you're gonna have a coop if not have one in the near future um, so once they're a little bit bigger and they're jumping out of the tub you can move them into their coop make sure your um, coop is predator proof all of that I will address in the next video when we show you um, how we set up our coop what setup we got so yeah I'm gonna go feed these little munchkins some dinner and get them showered and we're gonna sit on the couch and eat a giant bowl of ice cream and watch ourselves a movie. Thanks for following along. Please subscribe to our channel. This is a huge help and support to us. We're so thankful for each and every subscriber. So please subscribe to this channel. Comment below if you are a chicken lover like we are. And um, maybe what's the next step for your homestead now that um, things have kind of shifted in our country. I know for us it's forced us to move sooner rather than later and that's never a bad thing because at the end of the day this is all stuff we were going to do anyway so that's all for now and I'll see you next time